Hey guys, Irene here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how I personally process the Sony RAW files. If you are someone like me who recently went from Canon to Sony, you might run into this problem as well, where you are not quite used to the way that Sony processes their RAW files. I did notice them to be a lot darker, uh, cooler, with a slightly like greenish undertone, and they're definitely not as vibrant. So so I'm going to show you guys some very easy and quick fixes and ways to bring your pictures back to life. I do want to state that I only noticed this problem with raw files and JPEGs still look very beautiful and vibrant and colorful to me and uh, I want to show you guys this right here. So here's the JPEG image and as you can see I think the colors look very pretty here and then if we compare it to the raw, the raw is a lot darker, it's not as colorful and again we have that slightly greenish undertone like cooler greenish grayish almost undertone. So let's open this in camera raw and I'm going to show you guys how I fix it. The magic trick is the profile tab over here. So if you click down and then click browse, I usually use the camera matching right here. And then you can just kind of click around and see if any of the profiles work really well for you. Usually for me, it's the three that works that work the best. It's usually this one, light, portrait, and st standard. Sometimes the vivid looks really nice as well. But for this particular image, I think the light looks the best. And then I'm going to go ahead and do some adjustments that I do for all of the raw images, whatever it's Canon, Fuji, or whatever it is. Um, for this particular one, I'm going to give it a little bit of dehaze, just a little bit of clarity. I'm going to bump up the exposure just a little bit, bring the highlights down. Another thing I like to do for Sony files is bring up the pink tint just a little bit again to kind of get rid of that greenish colors and that works really really well for women of color makes their skin look a little bit more warm and alive uh, I'm gonna bring the blacks down just a little bit here maybe a little bit more of the contrast as well and I think that looks really good. I would pretty much leave it at that. Oh, one more thing I wanted to actually show you guys that I recently learned. I didn't even know that this was happening like for all of these years that I've been do using Camera Raw. So if you go to the detail, uh, Camera Raw does the automatic sharpening on all of the images that you open. I personally don't like that. So I always just bring back all of the sharpness down. I prefer doing all of my sharpening at the very very end of my retouch so i bring this down and then i click open the image and let's see the difference so here is the raw image and this is the processed file again i think it looks so much better already and it was super super easy to do so let's check out a different example so here is the raw and this is the jpeg so again as you can see the jpeg is so much brighter and the raw just looks pretty dark so let's open this one up and do some magic here Again, I'm going to go into the profile and select browse and then I'm going to go into camera matching and we can again kind of play around with different ones. The portrait actually looks pretty good for this one. Uh, the vivid actually doesn't look as bad either. Even the standard works pretty well too. Let's see again, portrait stand. I think I'm gonna go with standard for this one. So I'm gonna close it, I'm gonna bring the exposure, I'm gonna bring the highlights down just a little bit, and then we're gonna dehaze it just a little bit maybe, bring a little bit of clarity, just like I did with the other pictures. Then again, I'm gonna give it a little bit more of the pink tint. Uh, I'm gonna just bring the exposure a little bit higher give it a little bit more contrast, bring the shadows. All right, I think this looks really good, so I'm gonna go ahead and open it. So this is the raw and the process file. Again, super, super easy. Let's do last example. So here's another picture. This is the JPEG and this is the raw. And we can see how much of a vibrance we're losing, especially if you're looking at her hair right here. So let's fix that. I think for this one, the vivid looks really, really good. So I'm going to go with that one, but I'm going to bring the temperature down slightly, just a little bit. And again, I'm going to give it a little bit of a pink tint 
and we're gonna bring the shadows up just a little bit highlights down maybe a little bit of exposure a little bit of clarity yeah I think that looks really good so yeah that looks great to me I'm just gonna go ahead and open this image and let's look at the before and after this is the raw and this is the processed file so this is how I work in camera raw and you can apply the same technique in Lightroom as well but I want to show you guys another program that works with Sony colors really really well and it is capture one you can actually get capture one express for Sony for free which is absolutely awesome and this is what I did I'm gonna open capture one now and I have uh, lots of Sony files uh, loaded up in here and I can already notice that it processes the files a lot better than the camera raw I think that the initial raw colors already look so much more brighter and more colorful and just better but there's also a very, very easy way to make those images even better. And it is just to use the auto adjustment option. So here it is right here in the right corner. You just press this auto adjust and voila, there you go. It adjusts the colors so, so well. And if you still want to fix anything, like maybe let's say I want to make it a little bit brighter. I can go into exposure here just make this a little bit brighter and maybe just lower the highlights just a little bit more um, I think the program is very intuitive it's very very easy to use again I can just kind of scroll up to whatever picture I want let's say I want this one and you can kind of see how kind of dark and mucky it is and then I put the auto adjustment and voila it adjusts the image so much better I usually just add a little bit more saturation here there's another one let's click auto adjust look at that it just looks so so much better right away it's just so easy to use and I, I honestly think that the capture one just has one of the best like color renderings this auto adjust button just works so so well and I really really love this tab over here with dynamic range it's just so easy to use again I, I can just kind of bring back some of the highlights and then make this a little bit more contrasting add a little bit of saturation and just so so easy to use and again look at that it just literally works with every single picture just so easy to auto adjust look at that just looks so good after you're done editing your image you can right click in the catalog and press open with uh, Photoshop and then I use it as a TIFF and 16-bit and there you have it now in Photoshop and I just want to quickly show you guys what the raw looked like um, in camera raw so this is the raw image that I got from Adobe and this is the raw image that I got from capture one so as you can see there's a huge difference and this is why I really like using capture one if you guys have any other tips and tricks on how you personally process the Sony files uh, let me know in the comments down below I love learning from you guys as well so let's spread some information around and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video give it a like subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!